Hi everyone, this is Francisco, and in this video, I just wanted to talk about how life is just so unfair, it's just unfair, because I was just thinking about like football players, okay, so football players, people who go to school, and get good grades. They don't even have to go work. Like everyone else. They just play a sport. And have fun. And they make a lot of money for it. And at the end of the day. It's like. What's the whole point? They're just having fun. Playing a sport. While the rest of the world is busting their asses off. And not just that. And by the way, I just shaved my balls. And my asshole. Anyways. So like. Another thing that's not fair. Is people could be mentally retarded. So how is that fair when some people are born with a super high IQ and they can do Stuff that other people just can't do. So they're, they get lucky. Right? They get super lucky. And they have all the money in the world. And what about us that, who didn't even graduate? Who don't even have a GED? Are we like partially mentally retarded? So it's, it's just not fair. There is no equal rights. There is no equal opportunities. Like you guys are just. Picking on people. And. Think about it. You guys are thinking about colonizing Mars. And spending. A lot of money. In the process. Sending stuff to space. And we have to bust our asses off. Well you. Smart rich people. Are playing. Video games and. Playing. Sports. Although they are challenging. But. How is that helping us as a human race? If anything, we should all be awarded rewards for coming up with newer ideas, newer inventions. And just innovating all day long. That could be like a, a sport within itself. Because it impacts the whole world. It applies to the whole world. But sports. That's a bunch of grown men and women just having fun. And they're getting paid a lot of money for it. Like. If someone were to go up to someone right now. And say, hey, we'll pay you a lot of money to play a sport. Then that's exactly what they would do. But since I dropped out of, well, I didn't even really drop out, but I stopped going to school 
and then I got locked up. I didn't come out till I was, I got locked up at the age of 17, and I didn't even come out till I was 23, and if you guys are wondering why I got locked up, well, I was jacking off in public. Anyways, so, I I never got my GED, okay, so, it's just weird, like, and then, not just that, but I tried applying or, like, signing up to, like, the sports, football, and all that. And they were like, oh, no, you can't play. You have bad grades. So, instantly, right there, that was discrimination towards me. Because I'm... Mentally retarded. I'm. I have a. Mental disorder. Like a handicapped person. But. Even a handicapped person. Has, has it better than I do. Because a handicapped person. Gets a monthly check. Every, every single month. I don't. And think about all the other people in the world who fall under the same category as I do. But it's okay for someone to play a fucking sport and make tons of money for it. Like, it doesn't make sense. Think about it. Doesn't matter if the fucking players are really good all-star fucking player or not. That shit's fucking childish shit. That's fucking... It's not even childish. It's... It should just be like... You can do that on your own free time without getting paid for it. Like, grow up. Right? At least that's something... An adult would tell me. Especially when I was younger. It's like if I started playing video games right now. People would tell me, oh, grow up. But, and then, now I even know that what I heard, I heard that some people get paid. For playing video games. Which. Which is pretty good. In a sense. Because. Basically. We are all. We are operating a remote. And. We operate. Remote control vehicles. And devices. Objects. With remotes. Like for instance. Drones. So in a way. It's kind of good. You know. It's pretty good. Um, But. Playing sports. Come on. Even soccer. And we hear stories like these guys are making a lot of money. Tons of money. It's like. some Somewhere along the line. We got it all fucked up. Like just think about. How further we would be in life. If the world. Started operating. From the standpoint. Or viewpoint. That I'm illustrating. Whether it happens or not. That's besides the point. Right. But just imagine. (laughs) 
Imagine everyone all hands on deck just focusing on different industries and innovating those industries like no other. Similar to like the batteries with Tesla. That's one of their main research and development breakthroughs is the batteries. And they're only getting smarter and smarter. They're developing that. (sighs) And there's so many other things. Like, grow up. And, And not just that, but... I believe that I deserve... A lot more money... In this life. Honestly. Because. I need to start getting shit done. Before I die. And it seems like people just don't care. That or. I'm really retarded and. I just don't know who to talk to. Because. I'm sure there's investors out there. There's a lot of people with money. And I want some of that money. For myself. And. So I could focus. On what I need to focus on. Because. I feel like it. I feel like another. Sport player. I'm working at the Happy Burger Grill. Flipping burgers. I feel like Tom Brady. I think that's his name. I don't even know what team he plays for. But I heard he's a really good quarterback. I mean, think about it. It's all a hype. It's all bullshit. Like, why don't you guys televi- televised? Televise a a small league and put it up on as a Super Bowl game for a small league. Why why the fuck does it have to be adults and halftime? Why the fuck isn't J-Lo and Shakira there putting in work? I mean, honestly, that would be super cool for the kids, if anything. But, that's how I feel. Just I feel like I'm just wasting my life, wasting my time. And I'm not making an impact in this world. And that's the same thing with a lot of people out there. You guys are just wasting your life. You guys are wasting your time. And it's not even cool. And then for what? All for what? You guys are going to get injured. And all for what? Later on, you guys are going to be in the hospital. In the sick bed, or just another person, another disabled person that's receiving a monthly check for disabilities. And it's not even going to matter at that point 
if you got a GED, a, a diploma, a degree, a bunch of trophies. I mean, from that point on, you 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 probably you should have like basically entered this world handicapped because no one ever no one's ever going to remember you in history think about it and i'm not even trying to be mean i'm just trying to say like we need to think about ideas that are going to impact the future of mankind And we need to take that very seriously. Like sport players take practice and, and a game very seriously. Even musicians, people who sing and practice an instrument and stuff like that. Like, even they study and practice for hours and hours and they take their job very very seriously doesn't make sense to me people what we're doing not just that I was thinking about like oh yeah you rich people oh you guys don't have to work so hard right but we you guys are the successful people, right? But we, we're the ones that have to go and unpack all the trailers for all the shit that you guys are purchasing at warehouses and shit. And getting that, getting that stuff ready for shipments, for shipping, so it could arrive at your doorstep. And at the end of the day, it's like, you guys are just buying a bunch of bullshit. We're all just getting the runaround while you guys are living it up. I mean, think about it. You guys, you guys are at work. You guys end work. Your, your shift ends. You guys, you guys finish playing. Once you finish playing, you go shower and you have so much money. You guys can go out in your nice cars You're not, and get at beautiful bitches. If you're, if you're bitches, you know, in a sport, you guys can go out and get at guys like nothing. Like we're no fucking different. But I'm over here making fucking $15.50 an hour. Like ain't that a bitch? Does it make sense? To me it doesn't make sense at all. Like. And I just that, uh, but rich people who later retire and then they get old and then they go to like an elderly home, even though they have and they had a lot of stuff and at the end of the day, it's like, okay, you got to live your life. You were a professional this, that, this, that, whatever industry you were, or sport you were in or involved with, or any sport you excelled in, like, but... At the end of the day, it's like, 
What was the whole point? What was the whole point, people? And then, not just that, but think about it. While you guys are out there playing and making all that money, there's people dying. People on the streets without a home. And they could be mentally retarded. And they're out there. It's just, it's similar to throwing a baby out there that's that's mentally retarded. People are going to take advantage of that child. That's the same thing with people out there who don't have shit. Think about that. But you guys don't give a fuck, right? You guys have your next game coming up. Your next practice. Doesn't make sense to me. If anything, I was the one that that got fucked over in school. And back in that time, there was no internet. There was, but not like it is today. There was cameras and stuff. But it wasn't how it is today. Everything recorded and monitored wasn't directly sent to the military, to an external hard drive for all that information to be stored. People recorded everything that they recorded went into a DVD player. Then, if police officers or detectives wanted to look at the footage, then they were able to. If That's only if they were looking for someone. Like if someone died and they believe that that the suspect or, or I mean yeah the suspect might have gone through that area for whatever reason but just recently every everything goes to an external server and everything is stored on, into servers. So, see how that has changed? It changed drastically. And I just that. But now, there's facial now there's facial recognition and I just that but AI can follow us wherever we go in this world because it's all connected it's all one net one network and I'm just surprised that a lot of you out there haven't noticed the power and strength of all this. Like, are you guys done playing games? Do you guys want to really join and be part of a cause that will impact the world like never before. 
And I just working. All you guys are doing is like building up your own resume. Oh, you made how many touchdowns? You made how many t tackles? Everything's recorded, right? Your progress. Your achievements. But you're just working on your resume. It doesn't impact other people. And how is it that everyone in the world is feeding you guys money for playing a sport? How is the system feeding all of you money to play a fucking sport? It doesn't make sense. And I'm over here working for $15.50 an hour. Real fucking hours that I will never get back. But some of you land contracts that pay millions for you guys to stay in the game. That's all you guys are doing, playing a fucking game. And that's how I feel when I'm working at a fast food restaurant. It's pathetic. Honestly, like. I mean, I'm there, I'm doing my job. But. I'm not making an impact in this world. Like, think about it. Does anyone in this world right now know anyone who was a good cook at a, at a fast food restaurant? And if so, I mean, it has to be like very, very rare that that happens. But I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. And, you know, it pisses me off because, you know, even like Elon Musk with SpaceX, I, I, I guess, um, Facebook wanted to send some satellites or something to space, but the rocket blew up and never made it to space. That was a lot of work wasted, a lot of hours wasted. All because you guys can't focus on getting the rockets. To be top notch. Because you guys are too busy playing a fucking sport. And you guys don't give a fuck about people. Right now. Who are on the fucking streets. And don't have shit. And all you guys have to do is. You guys have nothing. To say. Except talk shit. That's all you motherfuckers. Have to say. But just wait. Just wait. You're going you're going to grow old and you're going to start realizing my words are gonna hit you like a football tackler hits a receiver who has a football. My words are going to come back flashing to your mind.
I mean, it's either that or you're just going to be in the at home crippled for the rest of your life because something happened. And it's super sad. And I'm not even hating. I'm not. I, I'm not hating. Believe me, I'm not. I can, I can, basically, my, my conclusion is, like, fuck it, no one wants to take any of this seriously, so why the fuck should I? Like, I'm straight. I'm living with my parents. I could survive on fucking bread and water alone. If I really have to, that's what the fuck I would do. And I'll still take my little happy ass to work. But I have ideas. I have real ideas and I have spoken about them openly. On my YouTube account. My Facebook account. And the CIA in them. They know what the fuck I'm talking about. The military. They know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. And we're fucking with the internet. So. Other people. From different countries. Know what the fuck I'm talking about. So we can all play stupid like Francisco we just have no idea what you're talking about buddy like you are a disgrace you never graduated you went to prison you got one DUI no you got two DUIs And you don't have any work history. You don't have any. You don't have shit. And that's how. That's how people want to. That's how the successful people. And people in authority. Want to judge. A. Peasant. Like myself. Like good for nothing. Ignorant. Piece of shit. 